One night, a couple years later, Madhavendra Puri was resting and he had another dream. Gopal appeared to him. He said, yes, you have bathed me with tens and thousands of buckets of water from Govinda Kund, all such cool water, and you've covered me with so many nice scents, but I'm still feeling hot. Immediately, go to Jagannath Puri and the nearby Malayan hills and bring me sandalwood to place on my body to make me cool. Madhavendra Puri then immediately left. On his way to Jagannath Puri, he came here to Remuna. Lord Chaitanya is telling this story. Madhavendra Puri was always thinking of Gopal. When he was in Remuna, he saw the temple of Gopinath. So Gopinath attracted such love from Madhavendra Puri. He was dancing, he was singing, he was crying. All the people around could see what a great Paramhamsa he was. He was so humble. He became very close with all the pujaris and all the people of the temple. And Madhavendra Puri was only thinking, he was going to get sandalwood for Gopal. He heard that there was very nice prasad that was being offered to Gopinath. So he asked the priests, please tell me what kind of prasad you're making. Give me the recipes so I could prepare these things for Gopal. They explained so many preparations. They said, but there is one preparation that is famous throughout the world. It is called Amrita Keli. It is Gopinath's Mahaprasad. It is a special, unique preparation of kheer or sweet rice. And it's offered in 12 pots every day to Gopal. So just after hearing this, Madhavendra Puri remained there and he saw them bring the 12 pots to offer to Gopinath. During the offering, Madhavendra Puri was thinking out of his pure surrender and love to Gopal and Vrindavan. He was thinking, when I return to Govardhan, I want to offer this same preparation. If I could just taste it, then I could understand what it is and I can offer it to Gopal. And he was thinking, how can I be thinking of eating something when the deity is still eating it? So he became ashamed and didn't say a word or ask anyone anything. After the offering, there was an arti. Madhavendra Puri stood silently during the arti and then left. He went to a little marketplace, which was completely vacant, and just sat there alone, chanting the names of Krishna. Meanwhile, the pujari took the pots of sweet rice from the altar, then put the deity to rest, and then himself went to his little place to rest. Gopinath appeared to him in a dream and said, you offered me 12 pots of sweet rice, but you only took off the altar 11 because one pot I stole. I stole a pot of sweet rice and hid it behind a curtain behind where I'm standing. I stole it from my devotee Madhavendra Puri. You should come immediately and get this sweet rice and deliver it to Madhavendra Puri. So the Pujari immediately got up from his bed and took his bath and went on the altar and went, looked behind the deity, and there behind a piece of cloth was a pot of kheer. He was struck with wonder. Who is this Madhavendra Puri? Gopinath stole sweet rice for him. So he took the kheer and he went outside and he was calling throughout the town. Where is Madhavendra Puri? Who is Madhavendra Puri? Gopinath has stolen this kheer just for you. And soon the whole town, everyone, who is Madhavendra Puri? <laughs> Gopinath stole kheer for this Madhavendra Puri? Who is this? And when he finally came to the little place where Madhavendra Puri was sitting, Madhavendra Puri came and identified himself. And the, the pujari offered his dandavat pranams to Madhavendra Puri, and Madhavendra Puri offered dandavat pranams to the pujari. And he said, Gopinath stole the sweet rice for you. How they appreciated each other. Gopinath appeared in the dream to the pujari. Gopal appeared to the dreams of Madhavendra Puri. <laughs> they both recognized the good fortune of each other. They embraced Madhavendra Puri when he drank that sweet rice. With his heart of soul, it was Krishna's special mercy. He was weeping and crying in ecstasy. 
Then he broke the little clay pot into many, many pieces and tied it up in his cloth and would wear it. And every day after that, he would eat one little piece of the clay pot and weep in ecstasy and gratitude for the mercy of Gopinath. But that particular day, after he ate the sweet rice, and he broke the pot and collected it all, he was thinking that everyone in the village is going to think I'm famous. And he didn't want any pratishta. He only wanted to serve. So without saying anything to anyone, before the night ended, he left the village. But every village he came to, the word spread. Gopinath has stolen sweet rice from Madhavendra Puri. In fact, they renamed the deity, Kir Chora Gopinath. And throughout the towns and throughout the village, now he's not Gopinath, he's Kir Chor Gopinath because of this great devotee, Madhavendra Puri. So wherever Madhavendra Puri would go, people would start honoring him and worshiping him. And he would just very humble, very quietly go away. And Philly finally came to Jagannath Puri, and he told the priest at Jagannath Temple, he said, Gopal, my deity in, in Brindavan, he's very hot. He told the whole story. He said, he has ordered me to come here to get Chandan. Now the Pujaris, they had already heard the glories of Kirchor Gopinath and how he stole the sweet rice from Madhavendra Puri. So they were willing to do anything for him. So here's an example where Madhavendra Puri, he hated to be praised and glorified, but for the service of the Lord, it's his fame and glory that induced them to actually take so much trouble to serve him. So the priests of the Jagannath Temple arranged 82 pounds of sandalwood to be collected. And in those days, and I guess these days too, sandalwood was very rare. It was very precious. So to get sandalwood in any quantity, you had to get permission from government officials. So the Pujaris in the Jagannath Temple, they went and they helped and they went to all these government officers and had to file all kinds of applications and get permissions. And then they were given the sandalwood and they gave it all to Madhavendra Puri. And then they got about eight ounces of pure camphor to mix with the sandalwood. This took time. Madhavendra Puri remained in Puri. Every day he was going for darshan of Lord Jagannath and dancing and chanting in great ecstasy. And then the priests of Jagannath Temple, they offered two assistants to help Madhavendra Puri to travel all the way back to Govardhan, thousand kilometers or more. It's such a load and it's so valuable. And there's so many places on the way that were different governments, taxes, rulers, and some were very, very corrupt, and some places were just filled with dacoits. It was almost impossible to travel with such valuables by foot through all these places. Madhavendra Puri had all these little papers from the government in Puri, and when he would come to a place, you know, he'd get to their border. It was like immigrations, and they would search him, and they would find all this sandalwood, and they would want to tax him, and Madhavendra Puri would speak to them. It was so much trouble. And finally, they came back to Raymona. Madhavendra Puri, on his journey back to Sri Vrindavan, Tam, Giriraj, Govardhan, he wanted to have darshan again of his dear Gopinath, who became a thief just for his devotee. So Madhavendra Puri was so happy to see Gopinath, and Gopinath was so happy to see Madhavendra Puri. He danced and he chanted and he ate sweet rice. <laughs> and the next day he was going to leave for Brindavan. But that night, Gopal appeared in a dream and said, you have surrendered everything to me. It's so much trouble you're taking. You're risking your life for my pleasure. But actually, I'm non different than Gopinath. So all the chandan and all the camphor, use it for the whole summer season to place on the body of Gopinath, and I will be cool here in Brindavan because we are one and the same. And please know that this is true. Madhavendra Puri woke up and he told the pujaris of Gopinath temple, who he knew very well, this is the plan. And they were very happy. So they got a whole team of just grinding sandalwood every day and mixing it with the camphor and covering the whole body during the hot, the summer months. Gopinath was beautiful darshan covered with this chanda. And Gopal was completely happy. 
In this way, Madhavendra Puri spent the entire summer doing seva for Gopinath. <laughs>